Hi everyone, Deb here. I am here to share the cards I made uh, using the card mats or the colored in images of these five house mouse stamps that I shared on my Crack the Vault uh, collab episode that is that's hosted by Jamie at Poet Spice and that was on Friday the 16th at 10 a.m. that video went up so um, I'm going to show them to you in this order one two three four five so let me get these out of here and we'll just do each card one by one and let me put these somewhere <laughs> uh, back here I guess okay okay so card number one um, is this and I'll just take the envelope off. I just have white envelopes with them all. And I didn't do anything to the envelopes at this time. So the first two cards use one sheet of paper out of this uh, paper pack that I got from Paper Wishes. I don't know if it's hot off the press or if it's just Paper Wishes brand. It's not labeled. And I can't remember. I should have written a, um, a note. But I did share this. I just got this this year in one of my haul videos, these paper wishes. And the one I used, because um, I think I have two sheets of it, is this one. I used this sheet here. The way they come, they come like hooked together. And this was with another one. But I didn't use any of the cut apart sentiments. They seemed a little too big for my purposes and um, so I only used one sheet of paper there's a piece of it and then yeah this was the other side of it like and uh, th the back of it is this so I only used that one sheet for two cards and let me put that aside so this um, I actually happen to have I think this is granny apple green <laughs> remember I used all to new alcohol markers to do my coloring um, but and I went around the edge actually though with Stampin' Up's Granny Apple Green because that's what this is. I already had that card base done. I didn't want to cover up too much of the paper because it's so pretty but I put it on the whole card front. This ribbon going across is actually soft sea foam. That's I'm sure that's retired um yeah the ribbon is i don't know these are dollar tree gems um because i couldn't find anything else that would match but they are from these the crafter square and i used five of them so i thought that came out pretty and it is lilacs actually the paper i had from stampin up is lavender and the colors were a little different even the green you can see this is a darker green here but this is goes with it the stems of it go with it better than it did the other paper and inside okay now this um i used a piece of the paper that had this on it and a little strip that had the lilacs on it and then this hello spring i was super duper disappointed in something um and this is why i'll never do this again I bought from Amazon this knockoff Excellent Eggs is a Stampin' Up stamp and die set. The dies work okay. They work fine as far as I can tell. But I had a big problem with Hello Spring and Happy Easter. And I don't know if you can, and I haven't tried these eggs yet, but I think I'm going to have the same issue. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like little ridges on the on the pla uh, acrylic or excuse me or uh, photopolymer or whatever these are made out of they have little ridges well so do the letters this is like the fifth time i stamped this and it sort of got okay but i'm going to bring it up close and hope you can can see how fuzzy it is there we go that's the best image i could get for that so i put it on the inside and i think that looks okay inside I didn't like it on the front and I, I couldn't figure out 
placement because if I move this up, it covers up the lilacs too much. If I put a sediment here, it covered up the lilacs too much. So I like it better on the inside. And um, yeah, so that's the first one. And I, um, I might still buy dyes somewhere else, but I'm gonna, I think the actual stamp uh, for this with Stampin' Up! is red rubber maybe. And um, I did use this one on the last card and it worked better, but all these scripty ones, and I can see it on the eggs, I see little ridges um, on them and I think they're gonna be fuzzy too. Anyway, lesson learned, I won't do that again. Okay, card number two is this one. And again, the same paper, you know, I just, in fact, there you go. It just, you know, goes right like that, I think. Something like that. Anyway, you get the idea. I just cut it and I put it on this time a, uh, what color is that? Olive, old olive, old olive. Now, um, these again were all to new markers. I ended up using an all to new alcohol marker. And I don't remember what, what it was. Um, it was a green G804, I believe, or G825, maybe. I think it was 825, the darker one. And I, um, masked off the white part and went around the edges with that because I didn't want to add the next layer up on these dots, as I was saying before my computer so rudely interrupted, <laughs> the next layer up on here was too big and it would have, you know, covered up most of the cards. So I thought I can get the same effect just by going around the edge with one of the ink colors that I used in here for the stems and a little bit at the bottom of the grass there. Um, so I use these. These are the contour, scallop contours dies. Um, I don't know if they're still current. Yes, they are until April anyway. I don't know if they'll continue or not. And then this I use the postage stamp dies and I was looking for um, something about the, the flowers being fragrant. And I was leafing through my flower sets to look for something. And I think Grace was speaking to me, maybe, because Gracie21, uh, who used to be on YouTube and has now passed away um, several years ago, she used to host a house mouse collaboration that several of us on here were part of. And um, I have had this... Grace's Garden bundle from Stampin' Up! And it, it makes me think of Grace, Gracie 21. And the sentiment in here, I just was flipping through my stamp sets and this popped out at me. Of all the blossoms in life's garden, friendship is the most fragrant. So I turned this into a friendship card. Um, and the little mouse is sniffing the lilacs and I thought that was appropriate. This color is Fresh Freesia by Stampin' Up! So I thought it most closely resembled those. It's a little lighter than these, but it's pretty close to, to some of them, right? And then inside I just have a piece of the paper from over here on the edge and uh, like I said this is on old olive uh, cardstock base which is pretty close. Mm, this is an old olive and I think I went around the edge of this with old olive. The, uh, this or no granny apple green excuse me this is granny apple green. I did not. I went around the edge of this with the same marker that I I used for here, which I think was what I say, G804, 825, G825. And this I bumped up on dimensionals, but this I did not. And these gems um, are somewhere. Um, these are actually lemon lime, oh, this marker keeps wanting to come out, lemon lime twist. Uh, lemon lime twist, yeah, 
and they're in the current annual catalog, page 140 of Stampin' Up, if you're interested. I hadn't used any of those, that particular pack. So there's the first two so far. Now we're going to switch to um, the Easter ones. So I have a ton of paper, as I've told you many times, <laughs> Stampin' Up and non-Stampin' Up. But I ended up using Stampin' Up on this one. To, uh, this was not Stampin' Up paper. This was Paper Wishes. So I have basically two packs of the In Color 2224. This might actually be retired patterns. I'm not sure because I think I got it last year. And I used three patterns in here and three colors. So the blue is Tahitian Tide, which is like a turquoise. The purpley is um, Orchid Oasis, Orchid Oasis, and the reddish pink, pinkish red, is Sweet Sorbet, and those happen to be in colors that will be retiring with the next catalog that comes out for Stampin' Up. But I have two packs of this stuff, and I'm keeping the colors and, you know, all that, and I thought the colors, especially... Well, now that I'm looking at it, this looks more like Coastal Cabana, and you'll see that on the next card. But I took, um, I masked the images, and I took my Tahitian Tide, uh, what do you call these, Stampin' Write markers, the ink, dye ink marker. I do have it for that particular set of inks. And I splattered it. So the egg is white with blue splatter, where the, the back... <sighs> It's not going to stay. Um, the background is the turquoise with white dots. And then here, um, these, oh, I'm sorry, these are, these flags are from, one second, okay. Well, first of all, I had the same issue with the Easter in that stamp set. Let me bring that back in if I can find it again. Uh, here we go. I tried, I really tried to use that Happy Easter, and I stamped it like six or eight times. I could not get it to work. So I went back to my previous stash of Easter stuff. I don't have that much for Easter, but I do have five or six sets. And this Happy Easter, which I like better anyway. And it had bunnies. Um, so I used that Happy Easter, and then... Uh, these are the Stylish Shapes dies, and these carried over to the current annual catalog. I don't know if they'll continue next year. And I die cut it twice, the largest one, uh, stamped it in Orchid Oasis, and I just offset them and put them at the top of the eggs. And these are the dies from that knockoff set. And so the dies work fine. I cut this out with the this die. And these two were from this uh, smallest die, right? not this one, but the one here. And on the next card, you'll see I used this. Um, and I think it worked fine and, and came out really cute. I put it on an Orchid Oasis card base, but I covered the whole front with the, the dots. And then inside is just the dots. So that's the third card. And then, so the fourth card, let me put this paper back in here. Um, the fourth card is a little different, and this is it. And I, like I said, I used this. So this was a regular card mat, like five and a quarter by four. And what this does in that size is it just cuts out this piece here but it it doesn't well i guess if you had a smaller card if you had it at three and three quarter it would cut it in half or whatever because i was originally just going to have jaggy edges thinking this would be cut off and the top would be cut off and then i thought okay well it doesn't work that way so plan b <laughs> and plan b was 
when I was pulling out those other stamp sets, I found I also have this stencil I completely forgot about. Pretty Pink Posh. I'm pretty sure I got it at the same time as I got the hearts one. And does it have a name? I don't know, but it's Easter eggs. And also, I didn't even know this until I colored it. Flowers. <laughs> There is one flower here upside down, and there's one in here going sideways. So this, I, I was going to say it's directional, but those flowers are going every which way, too. There is a tulip in here, but uh, the flower I'm talking about is this one. So I just took Orchid Oasis and my blending brush, and I masked off this again. Um, and I blended it so that the white shows there and then I spritzed it with a little bit of water and then I spritzed it with a little bit of um, Coastal Cabana because this color here is Altenews B802 which is called Mountain Mist I think I can never read the the prints really small yeah Mountain Mist and that's what I used to color this this egg, the blue in this egg. But it sure looks more greeny blue on these because I took them out. They come out, right? And I took them on a scrap and I used the brush end, the, the biggest end, and I colored them with this. And then I realized that looks an awful lot like Stampin' Up's Coastal Cabana. <laughs> So up here, I stamped in Coastal Cabana, that same Happy Easter out of that bunny set I showed you. Um, and I put this whole piece on another piece of five and a quarter by four white paper um, because I inlaid these back in and I needed something to glue them onto. And then I had, um, also with that in color, but I had this 2224 glimmer paper and this color is Orchid Oasis. So I had a scrap um, that you can see goes this wide, like about an inch and a half wide or so. And I just put it underneath there, the whole length. But then to make this so it wasn't like lopsided, I took two pieces of white card, actually, what it was was pieces I had stamped that Happy Spring and Happy Easter on from that other uh, stamp set I'll never buy again. Um, and um, what was I going to say? Oh, to make it, I glued it against here and over to about here so that this doubled card layer would not be lopsided from having this here. I hope that made sense. So that's my fourth card, and I did go around the edges of this, and I think for that I did use the dye-based marker because it was so close in color to this. And I can't remember now if I spritzed with the alcohol marker. I think I did, and then I think I was worried I was ruining it, so I went around the edges of this with this. And these are Coastal Cabana dots, and they're retired. They're... Uh, from those playful, playing with patterns resin dots. They're several years old and they're almost all gone. Um, I, I used a couple big ones, a medium one, and two small ones. And I thought that came out really cute. So I have a lot of purple and, and turquoise and stuff today. And then the last card, I went a little different. Um, let me find the paper I used real quick here for you. Okay. So this paper is retired, and I got it as a gift from my demonstrator. It was only available as a host set anyway. It was the 2023 Mini Flowers and More. And um, she just gave me like one sheet of six by six out of the whole pack. And I, can't, I don't remember even if it was 12 by 12 or six by six to begin with. I was thinking of using this. But I, when I saw this, I decided to go with that because these um, thistle are sort of a cross between this polished pink and the Blackberry Bliss color cardstock that I used. So this is on 
let me move this out of the way. Um, Blackberry Bliss cardstock, which is now one of the neutrals. It used to be in the Regals, not that it matters. I used the deckled rectangle dies. Um, and did I show them? To, they're stamping up too. Like this. I love these and I love the deckled circles. Those are probably my favorite dies lately from Stampin' Up! Because, you know, I have noticed like on those color and contours and the postage stamps too, you don't, you get like maybe two outer ones and then it skips like a couple layers and you get some of the smaller ones, but you don't get all the layers you need. But these you do. So I really like them. And I used it for this, the inner piece here, which was really kind of tricky, and somehow I got glue or something there. Anyway, um, and I used it for this, but this piece, now see, I'm going to hold that up close. That's from that stamp set that I said doesn't stamp right. And can you see? It didn't stamp right. Look at that S. But it's better than the other ones in that set were. I will never buy a knockoff stamp set again. Be, I, the dies maybe, because the dies are so expensive, but never um, a stamp set. So, because you get what you pay for, right? Now, the thing is, I think I bought them as bundles for like 10 bucks. So, I guess it's worth it just to get the dies for that, but I'm probably going to go back and get that stamp set from Stampin' Up! Just the stamp. Anyway, this was my little house mouse, Bunny with Thistle, and I put There's No Bunny Like You. And I didn't put any Happy Easter or anything on the inside because I don't know if I want it to be an Easter card or just like a friend card or what. Um, or, yeah, just a There's No Bunny, There's No Bunny Like You. So I put the two, definitely Easter, down here. And... These, this is a spring, this is a friend, and this is, could be a friend, could be Easter. <laughs> Oops, bring them down so you can see them all. So I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, I made the cars, I promised I would. I'm a little late doing that, and also I still um, owe a drawing for something. I'm going to do that tomorrow which is Tuesday. I'm a little late doing it, but uh, I there might only be one person that commented properly. I'll check. And if so, I there won't be a drawing. I'll just announce it in my community tab uh, who the winner is um, if there's only one person that commented properly. Okay. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Hugs, love, and peace.